Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what you need to do right now. The top five tips you should be doing now in Playground in order to get more victory royales and become a better player at Fortnite. So guys, these tips and tricks are going to be the best tips and tricks I could possibly give on the channel just because Playground has improved my skill by a lot, you guys. I promise you, listen to this video, watch it, and actually soak in this information because this information is very crucial if you want to become a better player. So things you need to practice. Is I'm gonna start off with build battles. So you guys want to get better at building in the game So of course the best way to handle build battles is to 1v1 a teammate now right now I have no teammates which sucks So usually what I do if I'm alone is I'll just practice things like this And I'll just practice as if I'm build battling someone and I'm trying to get high ground or something like that And then once I do get high ground I just practice you just want to constantly be practicing Even if it's on your own because playground gives you 999 mats and literally two trees So it's very easy and you can practice just like this right here here you guys so as you guys can see i'm just practicing i'm just building up i'm trying to see pretend that i'm trying to get as high as i can as quick as i can and now i'm just working on getting down as quick as i can just because you're practicing random things in, in playgrounds now if you have a teammate i'll show you guys the best tactic whenever you have a teammate now this is why you want to do playgrounds because look at how quick it is for me to get 999 wood i can respawn in if i die and everything is good to go so if i fall from that height there's no worries because I'm automatically going to spawn in. A lot of you guys already know this. A lot of you guys love Playground. And this is why I love it in, in my opinion. Now, if you're doing, if you have a teammate here, the best thing to do is this and this. And then have you yourself stand on this one right here. And have your friend stand on this one right here. Now, what you're going to do is say when the timer hits a certain time, like 20, 55, that's when the fight starts. So right now it's 55, so you start. Once you go three up this is when the fight starts so they have to go three up the opposite direction of you so they're going this way and you're going that way and then the fight starts you can literally turn if you want and start shooting you can you can build but i suggest building trying to build as high as you can and get above the other person because it's practicing you're you're practicing your ability you're practicing your skill now i know a lot of people when they play playground a lot of people make a mistake and they just try to get a victory royale they just try to win basically what i mean by that is for instance say we, we have a build off and i'm going up this way and i'm all the way i'm all the way up here to the very top like i'm as high as i could possibly i have high ground on the other person and now i'm looking down trying to see if i could find the other person like this and i'm trying to find them so say for instance i'm doing that and the other person's like oh let me just get a free victory royale so what they're gonna do is they're gonna come three up and they just cancel that shoot me down and then it's, they're just going to win from fall damage. That's not what you want to do. You guys aren't playing to try and get a victory royale or beat your friend or anything like that. You're practicing to get better together. So you're just literally building. You can fight each other with shotguns and stuff like that. You can try and shoot each other and kill each other. It helps out a lot. But my, my suggestion is not to just shoot each other down because that does no practice. You're not getting any better doing that. Actually have a build off. If you lose high ground, it's okay. Try to fight for it. Because if you lose, it's okay because you're learning. You're learning, hey, I can't do this in a build fight to regain high high ground i have to do a different thing and you're just trying out new things that you see other streamers and youtubers do so it's making you a better player guys yes i do promise it is going to work it helps out a lot that's actually what i've been doing lately and it made me a lot better of a player at this game now the next tip that i want to show you guys is pyramids so basically if you don't know pyramids this is the next big thing once you get trapped in a pyramid um the other person usually has to like cancel their route or go a different route or something like that so my suggestion to you guys is when you're in playgrounds practice pyramids again when you're with a friend just have a build off whenever you're build off with somebody else and uh you make make this turn right here wait for them to get above you because the second they get above you is, let's say for instance this is them right here S second they get above you like that say they put two above you just jump and pyramid them and then you can change your route and you can go a different direction and then try to do that so that's how you practice pyramids right there is by baiting them out let them get above you once they're above you you just put a pyramid over the head and like i said if you do that pyramid scheme or not scheme but pyramid trick they're going to end up getting caught and have to change their direction or route or something like that. So guys, again, that is probably the best thing to do. Now, if you are playing alone and you have no friend to do, guys, again, I do this all the time. It's not that you're a loser. You just would rather get better while your other friends are playing squads or something like that. You want to stay in playground and practice. So a thing you can do on solo is just this, just this right here. Just constantly constantly do this where you're putting a pyramid above your head and you're editing through it now the reason you're doing this is so that way you can get used to putting a pyramid above you so that way if someone's above you it helps you out a lot now now there's many reasons why you're going to be doing this in a build fight now you're not really looking for it it's just natural it's just good to have 
different like uh techniques in your like in your mindset in your, and like in your fingers and stuff like that memorizing the different techniques is always good because you never know when you're going to use it and I just killed myself. For instances, if you guys want to know what pyramids are good for in the game, uh, my, my good friend Gamer Couple, they actually made a video covering the top five tips on pyramids and why they're used and why you should be doing them. So guys, if you can, go check out their video. I left a link down in the description below. It is an awesome video. It gives you guys the best pyramid tips and tricks if you have no clue what those pyramids are used for. But practicing them in playground is the best thing that you want to do. Now moving on to tip number three is edits. Now the next thing you want to work on is practicing edits. Now I know on console it is a little bit harder but it can be done guys. I promise you doing stuff quick can be done on console. It's just it just takes time. It just takes practice and you guys really got to learn how to do it. I know it can be a little bit harder because you got to wait for the circle button to be loaded but you can practice it and it does help out. Now now one thing uh, again 1v1 build fights and anytime you're editing is always good so say you get above the person and you put your stairs and they're below you like this all you got to do is edit shoot them jump back up put your stairs edit shoot them jump back up put your stairs and stuff like that you can practice that in a 1v1 if, you, if your friend is not here and you're playing alone again this is perfectly fine i've done this many times where i've just sat in playground for two three hours alone learning different techniques and stuff like that uh, another thing you can practice is building like these little one by ones and then pretending that there's other people all around the map so say we're for instance we're in this one by one there's somebody at blue house i can literally sit here like this and shoot at them but say i don't want to peek at this angle and i want a third person peek a little bit better i can sit here rotate the stairs and peek like this like rotate the stairs act like someone's over there peek over there rotate the stairs and peek over this way you can you can just keep constantly rotating your stairs practicing how to catch it because you have to catch the middle one and flip it directly the right way in order to rotate so practicing is always good um you just want to sit here again this is what i did i just it, it is a lot of imagination you got to pretend someone's over there you can peek take some shots crouch back down peek take some shots crouch back down rotate your stairs just practice doing this stuff right here you guys and i promise you it does work it does make you a better player um if you do not like doing the stairs another easy thing that you can actually do surprising or not it's pyramids you guys you can practice these pyramids it's a little bit harder but it does work you can Make it back a pyramid and change the stairs. Now you can all do it in one by easily editing, reset, click the two sides and it flips the stairs for you. Now again, this is a little bit more difficult but the second you get the hang of it, it is actually pretty quick. You can actually do it very quick and the faster you go, the more you practice, the better you'll be, you guys. So keep practicing these stuff, you guys. I promise you it's going to make you a better player. That's how you practice edits. You can also do something like this. For instance, say we're in a one by one and there's people in other places. You can practice somebody's over here at this house over there so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and edit this take some shots crouch down edit it back up say someone's behind you edit this open up this wall take some shots crouch back down close that up and just keep rotating guys don't mind my dogs they're just playing with each other right now anytime you do that you just want to practice editing your walls peek up shoot at llamas crouch back down edit the wall back down and you're just practicing stuff like this because it will make you a better player you guys i promise you that it just takes practice, man. I'm literally sitting here practicing as I teach you guys this stuff because I'm not the best in the world at it. But again, the more I practice, the better. I can I can feel myself get better when I get into an actual lobby. Like right now, I, I don't know if I'm getting any better. It just feels normal. But once I get into an actual lobby and I start running into people and actually getting into fights, you're going to notice the difference. You're going to notice like, holy crap, I did get better at the game. Just one, spend one hour a day in playground by yourself practicing these things. Have a different exercise. Like, okay, I'm going to spend doing this for 20 minutes of the hour and I'm just going to practice this constantly, non-stop, 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 non-stop. Now, now it does get boring, but it does help you practice things, you guys. You want to practice, if you want to practice editing, run down, jump, and edit your stairs to break them like that. It does help with editing and stuff like that. So that way you're constantly, constantly doing something. It's like basketball, guys. If you want to be good at basketball, you have basketball practice, football practice. You have all these practices to get better at something. You can't just naturally get better at it. You got to practice. So again, practice makes perfect i want you guys to actually go into playground try these things out for just an hour a day let me know by the end of a week how you're doing did you become a better player console players pc players it doesn't matter where you are if you're trying new keybinds go ahead and do it on p in playground you could get a lot better if you're just practicing on console and you want to learn how to edit quicker go ahead and do it in playground now again you're not going to be dying all the time and it is a lot better guys with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video peace